Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Normally in a speech such as this, I would focus entirely on the issues that I want to give priority to in the next three years. Yet I am afraid that due to the misinformation being spread about me and deputies to Susan, to, to Susan Southern by Mr. Rod Grimes and Senator Lamar, I feel I have no choice but to deal with it in my speech. <coughs> I will firstly deal with my criminality of breaching the public elections law. Much has been said in Mr. Grimes and Senator Lamar's election material about this. So serious was this crime that it was taken from the magistrate's court to the royal court. It was presided over by a judge who was brother of, the, of one of Mr. Bryan's former proposers. What I actually did was to help an elderly gentleman who had tr trouble writing and a lady who had learning difficulties to complete an, an application form to request they be registered to later receive a postal vote. This crime is outlined in the letter inserted with my manifesto. Ladies and gentlemen, agree or not with my decision to breach this law, which exists nowhere else in the democratic world. It had nothing to do with the slur being spread that Deputy Southern and I in any way have been involved with individuals acting voting slips, actual voting slips or electoral fraud, as has always been, suggest has been suggested by the JP. Indeed, this can be spelled out by the fact that Senator Lamar was forced to withdraw his allegation in the States by Michael Burt, the bailiff. So let me be clear this by, by adding this. I did break a new creative piece of legislation and declared that I would when it was being debated. I accepted my punishment, but what I did not accept was being treated differently to others. So serious was my crime that other candidates and statesmen who broke the law, same law, were not pursued by the Attorney General William Palash. But to put it into perspective to Senator Le Mans, Mr Bryant, I have not had to resign from the old IDC committee following the scandal of an elderly lady's name being written in a planning application. I have not had to resign as Housing Minister for having to try to interfere with the prosecution of a friend who broke housing laws. I'm not a politician still awaiting the outcome of allegations of serious corruption made in the magistrate's court relating to rezoning. And I have not put any person's life at risk by speeding, as some states members have, which has been given little or no media space. As for Mr. Bryan's attempts to try and mislead my constituents, that I and deputies Southern and D'Souza are never in the district or do any work for all constituents. What I can say is if one looks in the phone book, you will see that not only did I rent an office in Winchester Street through my six year term, I also lived there from 16 to 27. I then moved to St John's Road and now live at Bombay. My constituent case portfolio is like deputies Southern and D'Souza amongst the largest of all 53 states members. In April 2010, a known opponent of ours, but resident of Val Pleasant, blogged saying that bins were not being removed and that he constantly had to avoid dog mess walking on the roads. My response was this, if a concerned resident does not contact one of our deputies, then how do we know that we should be acting on such a problem? We simply cannot spend our time walking around St Helia looking for dog poop and moving bins. I then outlined to the blogger what we all did, and about myself, I said I am currently on the Economic Affairs Scrutiny Panel and two other sub-panels. I have 33 live cases, which range from issues such as state housing, poorly maintained, insulated and damp, inadequate private housing, and getting people moved, planning issues, child protection issues, antisocial behaviour, helping people, financial problems and parish utilities. This is just an example of, of where I have helped people in my district. Convict Court, uh, with housing issues, Windsor Road, uh, provision of adequate bins, oak tree gardens, I attempted to get the assurance from housing that new, the new heat, heating system installed uh, would be installed without a mess. This did not prove the case with the number of tenants. Pokemon say sure, I have to get speed bumps there. Um, and also help with uh, issues with carbon potato factory 